choose Labour and know that we have changed fundamentally. Cast your mind back to the last election. Working people up and down the country looked at my party, looked at how we'd lost our way, and they said, no, not this time. You don't listen to us anymore. You're not in our corner. You don't fight for our cause. And they were right, weren't they? We'd taken a leave of absence from our job description. Everything I've done as leader, every fight I've had, has been to reconnect us to that purpose. A different Labour Party, driven by your values, relentless in earning your vote. When you come from a working class background, you don't walk around problems. No, I've dragged this Labour Party back to service and I will do exactly the same to politics. <laughs> if politicians think they can carry on like this on my watch, they can forget it. I put expense cheap politicians in jail before. I didn't care if they were Labour or Tory. So I say to Westminster, and I say to you, nobody will be above the law in a Britain that I lead. <laughs> if you voted for the Conservatives and you're still waiting for the change you demanded, if you believe working people deserve a new foundation of security, with rising home ownership driven by a reform planning system, a new national wealth fund investing in the jobs of the future, cleaner bills guaranteed by clean British energy and technical excellence colleges training our kids in the skills we need. If you think work should pay fairly, that practices like zero-hour contracts and fire or rehire should be scrapped, and that we need a solution for sectors like care, but isn't just exploiting immigrants on low pay. If you want lower migration and higher wages, then I say again, this is what a changed Labour Party will deliver. You won't get it from a Tory fifth term. Only a change of government can bring change to our country. <laughs> we will serve you. Look around your country. We need you. Britain must come together. I believe in this country. I believe in its spirit. I believe in its people, in its businesses, in its communities. But most of all, I believe that if the British people see respect and service in their politics, then they will commit to the national mission of renewal. So if we are privileged enough to win the next election, we'll walk together with a new mission to get Britain building again take back our streets, switch on great British energy, get the NHS back on its feet and tear down the barriers to opportunity. A Britain where hard work is rewarded, aspiration is back, communities have more control, politics serves your interests and where together we can say, in a cry of defiance to those who write our country off, Britain can, Britain must, Britain will get its future back.